Everyone loves action games, and these titles give a lot of adventure and thrills. That's why a lot of casual gamers and even pros prefer this genre. So today, I will talk about five best action-adventure games which were released in recent years. This 2019 action-adventure title follows the story of Jedi Cal Kestis. I, as a newcomer to this franchise, was a little skeptical about this game. But after playing this game, I can guarantee that even if you are not familiar with this franchise, still do try this game. It's one of those games whose replay value is very high, mostly because of its non-linear exploration and progression system. Our two main weapons will be lightsaber and the power of force, which will be very useful in both combat and puzzle scenarios. Its combat may seem a little difficult in the beginning, but once you master the timing of strike and parry, then the fighting gets so satisfying. In its campaign, you will visit different planets with huge open-ended areas. Accessing these areas can be a little difficult because there is no objective mark or fast travel. But other than that, I think this is a near-perfect action game which will entertain you for almost 10 plus hours with great visuals, interesting story, and very fun gameplay. I have been following this franchise since childhood and after playing almost all the Tomb Raider games, I can without a doubt say that Rise of the Tomb Raider is the most fun I've had in this series. This game is the sequel to the 2013 Tomb Raider reboot and shows us a more experienced Lara Croft. In terms of gameplay, this title perfects everything that its predecessor introduced, from straightforward combat, interesting puzzles and great traversal mechanics. You will have many tools to explore its map like Ice Axe, Rope Launcher, and Wire Spool. Combat and shooting in the game is very simple. You will have multiple weapons to defend yourself and to clear your objective. You can sometimes avoid these gunfights by a more stealthier approach. Also, the game's puzzles and challenge tombs are also very interesting. All these sections are environmentally very interactive. And my only negative would be that there should have been more of these sections throughout the campaign. After the disaster of Square Enix Avengers, people didn't have much expectations from this game. But as it turns out, Guardians of the Galaxy is actually a very fun game, which keeps its focus on single player, unlike the Avengers. Even though the name of the game is on a team, we will still be able to play as only Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord. Game overall is very story-driven, so there's a lot of conversation choices which are genuinely amusing and entertaining. In combat, we will use Peter's dual pistols, and instead of switching on to other characters, we can directly ask them for help to attack someone with their special ability. Apart from this, we will also have some special moves and also elemental shots like freezing or electrifying your enemies. During the fights, we will explore some gorgeous alien worlds, which provide a very linear path, but are still very interesting because of the story and its visual variety. 2021's action-adventure title is one of the most beautiful-looking game I've ever played. Its Pixar-like art style and smooth animation make it very unique and distinct. In the story, we will explore this gorgeous world where we will have to clear these enemy-infested areas and help spirits along the way. The biggest aspect of the gameplay are these spirits called Rot, which you will collect throughout the world and they will be useful in your many exploring sections in combat. And if we talk about the combat, it's very simple with light and heavy attacks where you can dodge and block with an energy shield. Its world gives you a lot of open-ended areas which will be fun to explore because of its great platforming mechanics and environmental puzzles. Overall, Kina is an amazing game, which keeps a perfect balance with great visuals in its action, puzzle solving, and exploration. So the last game is Rise Son of Rome which I consider to be very underrated, as I've never seen it in any top 5 or 10 list. After completing it twice, I personally feel that this game is very praiseworthy, especially for its combat and visuals. Now, its main gameplay element is the combat which gives basic light and heavy attacks while letting you deflect and dodge. Now, my favorite part of this combat are the brutal executions which can be performed after implementing enough damage on the enemy. To add some variety to it, the game also gives you a few upgrades which increases your damage and lets you perform double and environment executions. In many sections of the game, you will face a large number of enemies with your army, and these will require you to command them and decide where and how to attack. Other than this, the game doesn't have a lot of exploration elements. 
It's a very linear game where you will repeat the same pattern of killing enemies and moving on to the next location to do the same.